crop production and management. Before we dive into this chapter, let's take a little detour. Let's look at life before agriculture. Before the practice of agriculture, on a typical day, people used to spend most of their time just getting food. Now, some of these people used to go out and hunt for food, while others used to go and gather food. Now, the folks who gather used to go around trying to find trees where they see good fruits or crops and then bring them back home. So, how did we go from a place where we were hunter-gatherers to the life that we are living today, where agriculture is done as an industry and farming is a huge profession and that's how we are fed. So that transition happened due to an accidental discovery. So we talked about these gatherers, right? So they, when they went out and then they got food and they walked back, sometimes they used to drop these fruits and seeds along the way. And over time, to their delight, they actually started discovering that the places where they used to drop the seeds and fruits, they started seeing new trees come up. I mean, this is fine, this is normal for us. We know that when you sow a seed, then a tree grows out of it. But this was a big groundbreaking discovery for a hunter-gatherer because this just meant that they can now sow these seeds right next to their homes and gather food in the comfort and safety of their homes. They don't have to leave and be uh, out in the wild trying to protect them from these wild animals like they were lions, tigers and whatnot. So this discovery is what led to the birth of agriculture as we know it today. So as time went by, people also realized that uh, only a few people can actually grow food for the entire community. So that's kind of how the profession of farming was born, where these people were able to grow food and kind of freed up others to do something else. As time went by, the population increased. Now, what does that mean? That means for a farmer who used to grow food in the size of a backyard now had to grow food over many, many acres of land. As a result, there were a lot of new challenges that came up because if there's a small um, piece of land, then you are able to manage it. But this huge uh, area of land, now the same farmer was not able to manage the crop production like he or she used to do before. As a result of these challenges, humans along the way have come up with lots of innovative solutions on how to solve them. And those are the solutions we are going to be learning about in this chapter. Now, as you gain more and more knowledge about these agricultural practices, I hope you get excited about it and want to go into a career or work more on agriculture and work towards the next big breakthrough in agriculture itself. So in our chapter, in the next video, we will look at what it takes to grow a tomato plant right in our backyard. That learning will then help us take that forward and see what it means to grow food over many, many acres. I hope you join me there.